Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide and this time we are getting it all in Hypnospace Outlaw, a fantastic point and click adventure game developed by Tendershoot, that which is media and Michael Lash and was published by No More Robots with ports also from Rattalika Games. Now before we begin, big important thing here, if you can, try and play this game on PC through Xbox Game Pass. If you play on the Xbox like I did here, and then start playing on the PC, your save does not carry over. And this is very important in terms of the thanked achievement. Basically for looking at every single page on the game. Now there's a debug menu we can use, but it crashes like hell on the Xbox and works absolutely perfect on the PC. So I advise to play this game on the PC if you can. But the best way to explain this for the children of today is, you know where you post something on Facebook and it gets zucked, aka banned account for a few days? Yeah, that's basically our job. Only it's on a 90s internet web browser which will confuse many people who weren't around then. <laughs> I mean, it sounds okay, but it plays so much better. Great story, great dialogue, and an all-around epic. And of course, I'll be there to help you through any other confusion. Now, achievements-wise, it's mainly for collecting a few things, doing the main stories, and at one point completing five side quests that we won't even know about. And of course, the thanked achievement for checking out every single page in the game. Highly advised, like I said, to play this on Game Pass PC. So for the, achiever, for the achievements, we can get this done in around one and a half to two hours, but the thanked achievement takes at least three to four on its own. So with that being said, then let us begin. So you press new... You press new game and then we put in our name. You can put in whatever you want. Obviously, I'm going to put in the Welsh Hunter because that is what I am. Hypnospace Outlaw, the Welsh Hunter. And I just made myself sound super cool, I knew. So it may seem a little bit confusing as to what to do and where to go. So the first thing we're going to do is drag by holding the uh, A button, drag the question mark to the recycling bin. It is on the bottom right hand side behind the Welsh Hunter sign there. <laughs> so go ahead and do that and then we can begin. So our main, there's a couple of pages mainly that we'll be going on. See where the number one envelope is floating around? Number two now. That is basically our message center. And if we click on the big earth next to it, obviously that is the uh, internet. So we're going on there and we're going on Good Time Valley. And then basically this is our first mission. So click on Abby's World, the very top one right there. Click on Gumshoe Gooper Art from my first grade class. By the way, the music on some of these pages is just incredible. Um, and we'll. This is kind of like a prologue, sort of first case thing, um, in terms of getting used to it and what we're having to do. So you scroll down by pressing the D-pad, by the way, and what you need to do is click on the hammer, where it says enforcement, click on the number one, there's five different ones, one's for harassment, one is for content infringement, etc, etc. So click on the big fish right here with the eyeball, click submit. And then what you can also do as well, when you click Submit, when you click Submit, if you um, move the mouse around quite a lot, it goes a lot faster, which I only realised a little bit later on. But this is what we are doing. So anywhere where you've got these uh, bits of fish or anywhere with Gumshoe Gooper on it, click the number one on the left-hand side, click the A button on the picture or anything, and then click Submit. Uh, not everything will go well, and basically it'll just tell you stop wasting my time, you absolute bumbag. And then that one is fine. So, watch out for this fish guy, Gumshoe Gooper Butthole right here. Again, just do the same. Because this is all we're doing, is looking out for co uh, content infringement. And that is for some reason a fish who is a detective. <laughs> but I like it. Zachary W, fantastic drawing, you're doing better than me there, pal. I can barely draw a stick man, to be honest. But that is the next one we're going to submit for content infringement. And I'll just show you when you can get it wrong. We're, obviously, we haven't got Gumshoe Cooper in here. But this is what will happen. So you obviously, uh, obviously, it's all just clicking the A button. We go to submit it. And then what it'll tell us is, bruh. No violation detected. Stop wasting my time, you goddamn buttbag. And then we can just carry on. 
and we've got our helpful little friend there. Um, make sure to click on this picture. It's like a fish with a knife, a gumshoe gooper with a knife. What the hell went through these kids' heads? I don't know. Such imagination. And then that should be that one. So we get paid for that. And if you look at the top of the page there, you can see just next to the date how much uh, cash we actually have. And we do actually spend cash, so that's fine. But we're going to click back a couple of times now. And we're going to scroll down again using the D-pad, of course. And we're going to go to the page Sandy for Leader. So this is kind of like a sort of MySpace kind of thing. Now, there'll be a lot of people who won't know what MySpace is. And that saddens me to death because that makes me feel old. But MySpace was better than Facebook by far. So we scroll down, we can see um, the gumshoe gooper playing a little saxophone right there. So again, click on the hammer, get the number one out. Submit that, let's get paid. Saxophone is no more. So now we're going to go uh, click back again. So, you know, people should know how to use the internet by now. Clicking back, etc. And we're going to go into Sandy's empty nest page. And, why, hello there. What's going on? Uh, but we're clicking all the way down. Go to Need a Laugh. Click here to go to my humor gallery. BWL, which obviously stands for Big Willy Love. Which we can all get on board with there, to be honest. Uh, go to your content infringement again. And then get rid of this little comic strip. Um, with the eyeball gooper. Right then, so now that should be that. So what you can do is go to the very top right corner, which is basically the X button to get go back into the home page. Go into your messages, the HSPD Enforcer dashboard. And then what you can do is just uh, smash through them all. There's nothing really to read at the moment, but it does get quite interesting a, a little bit later on. So basically, it'll tell us that we've done our first case. So go at the top, go to cases. And then again, just behind the sort of Welsh hunter sign there, <laughs> It will say, uh, close the case, and that'll be case closed. If you still haven't done enough, that'll be your first achievement, by the way, gooped. If you haven't done enough to close the case, it'll obviously be greyed out, so you still have to keep on going. So, yeah, like I said, I never really read any of the emails or anything, but it is quite an interesting read, as I said uh, a little bit later on. But we are now automatically on to case two. Uh, teen Topia Harassment. So go back onto the internet, click the home button at the top left corner right there, the sort of web browser. And then where we can go, we can see Teen Topia just at the bottom of the screen there. So go ahead, click on that. Now this, it, this is just proper 90s teenagers music. Awesome. We're going into Councillor Ronnie's place. This is my favourite page in the whole game, by the way, just because of the song, which you'll listen now. Councillor Ronnie reporting for duty. <laughs> I actually love this. My favourite one. So click on Ask Ronnie and scroll down. And on the left hand side, you're going to see like what well, kind of looks like a Pokemon or something. It's called a Squisher. And uh, what we have to do to get the achievement then is basically collect all 10. So we just have to go to different pages, just click on the Squishers, and that'll be the achievement unlocked then. Even the Squishers theme tune there is absolutely awesome. But staying on this Ask Ronnie page, we're going to scroll all the way down, beating Wimpy Losers. It doesn't stand for Big Willy Love, of course. And click on this sort of advert-looking thing right here, the Monarch. Sort of what kind of looks like a cheap PS Vita. <laughs> scroll all the way down, and that'll be your second Squisher. So, when we are all good with this page, we can now click back. Stay on this page though, and head all the way back up. Duty, duty, <laughs> he said duty. Yes, I am still a child. So click on the book where it says learn. Make sure to click on that. And then head down just a little bit and we're gonna see our third squisher. And this kind of looks like Porygon. If we're calling them Pokemon, obviously. So we're going to stay on this page once again and click on the book again. Could have just stayed on that same page, but that's fine. And then if we go down and then learn your birthstone. Click to hear Ronnie's birthstone stung. Stung. There he is. So click, go all the way down and then click on the squisher at the bottom. Kind of looks like Lugia or Lugia, whatever the hell you're from. 
If the music does annoy you, of course, you can just press the pause button there at the bottom left. <laughs> but we're going to head back. So if we click on the back button just once, it's kind of basically the same page, but it's not. It's not on this one. Click back once, hit, stay on this page, go all the way down. And we're going to see what kind of looks like muck or grimer in the bottom right hand corner there. So make sure to pick that one up. Kind of like Michael Grimer anyway. Now obviously as we progress more with the story, our little green alien friend will uh, basically tell us we've got messages and things so extra cases can open up. So go back to the main homepage and we're going to see the uh, Ekins of the Squishers Club on the right hand side there. That is on the main Councillor Ronnie's page. But now we can actually get out of that one, we have done with that. So the next one we're going to go to then is the actual Squishers page itself. So there it is, Squishers, not the Squishers quest, rather just the Squishers. A really key. So <laughs> head all the way down, and on the left hand side there you're gonna see this kind of bug-eyed cat thing. Whatever the hell that is meant to be. So now we can just head back again. And this time we're going on to Pizza Boogie. Now, I'd really love to know what the writers um, thought of in this game, because it's just awesome. Just dancing pizzas and stuff. Back when the internet was a much simpler time. Anyway, go down, you see the Dr. Pizza sign, and there is the next <laughs> squisher. Honestly, dancing pizzas was just was the highlight of everyone's life back in the day. Gotta sound old. <laughs> Anyway, we're going to head up, and we are going to go on Councillor Ronnie's place again. And this time then, if we uh, click on the play button there with the dice, apologies, this is one I actually missed earlier on. And then if we head down to the left-hand side, you can just see the weird jizz-covered uh, snake right there. So that'll be another squisher. And we're going to head back to the home page, scroll up, again of course using the D-pad, just in case you missed me saying that the first two times earlier. Go to April the Angelic Hamster, well that's nice, and there's the next squisher on the left hand side. Now I'm not sure if she means the hamster's dead and it's now in a bowl of soup, or if it's just been really nice. But, collecting that other one then, that should be the last one and should get you the squished achievement. Now, of course, you don't have to do it in that particular order, but that is just the way that I did it. So, obviously, make sure you grab all 10, grab the achievement, and then we can move on to case number two. So, this time, we are heading to Teen Topia again. This is where we are going to start the second case. And what we're going to do then is head all the way down, and we're going to go to Corey's house. Now, these guys sound like incredible jerk-offs, but there were plenty of them back in the day. In fact, they're even worse these days, with such easier access to said tinternet. So basically, this is a harassment case. It's basically getting you used to using all five of the uh, hammer buttons there. So, obviously, anything with bullion on it. We're going to click on the official Zane Sucks Club badge. And obviously, we, you know, there's no need for bullion. Sadly, it is a modern, big, big modern problem, and bullies just suck absolute cheesy ball sacks. But it's what we've got to put up with. So, um, sadly, but what we're going to do then, you see the Zane Sucks banners uh, heading on. Just click on the number two, sorry, click on the number two space there, and then make sure to be grabbing all of the banners until it all says violation or removed due to violation. So, I think there's three of them to do. So just get it where it highlights it and then press the submit and now you can see by the way me moving the mouse around very quickly it, For some reason it just makes it go a little bit faster So again, it's all going to be number two uh, Just checking if there's any more, but now you can click on the actual banner itself Now we can head on back uh, we've done everything we can in this tiny little page. Now there's going to be a little bit of writing there. Uh, grab the number two hammer and it's right next to the uh, Zane Sucks Club badge. But Zane is a flippin' idiot. Now of course, these days that will probably come with, again, sadly, a lot more racism and a lot more swear words rather than that. Which is just goddamn idiotic really, isn't it? 
Now we can get rid of the Zane Sucks Club badge. Again, it's the number two button. That's all we're going to be using for now. And then make sure to get your ass paid. Okay, a couple of more things to do. And that is this case solved. So now we can scroll all the way up. And basically we're going to be flagging this page. As you can see just at the top there, eligible for flagging. Go ahead, flag it. And this, this means we are, in modern day speak, Facebook speak, we are going to be zucking this guy. Not sucking him off, we're going to be zucking him off. Okay, banning him. There we go. So, that should now be your next achievement complete. And we can now move on then. So, that is case two, more or less complete. But we can, just to get a little bit more money, we're going to be doing a little tiny bit more. Because the money's going to come in extreme handiness later on. So, go on Jennifer the Nerdy Chick. With the very cute chick spelt wrong. And you can see another badge, Zing Sucks Club badge. So again, get out the harassment hammer, slap it down, and get paid. Right then, next we are going to be using the keypad. Now, of course, on the PC, you won't see this big box come up in the middle of the screen because you can just type it in. But if you go on the search button there at the top right-hand corner and then type in C page, which is S E E. P-A-G-E. Again, like I said, if you're on the PC, you won't see this cut, you won't see this keyboard because you'll have a keyboard right in front of you. So that's C page, S-E-E-P-A-G-E. -E -E. And then we go into the bottom one, got game or way lame, Zane Robes. It's me, Zane, the undisputed king of Teentopia, which I believe is all lies. So what we can do is just scroll down all the way to the bottom. Uh, basically, we're going to be getting rid of him because he's a jerk-off to Corey as well. Oh, such simpler times of harassment, huh? So, get your number two hammer out there. Whack out the bottom at the very uh, at, at the very bottom and get paid once again. I wish it was this easy to get paid, mine, but there we go. So, go to this uh, banner here to this main Got Game Away Lame episode selection page. So, click on that. And we're going to be heading down. Episode 2, Corey. Ew. Okay, and basically we're going to be doing a lot of zucking right here. Not sucking, I'm trying my best not to make that joke even though it's already made. Click on the big bunch of right in there with the harassment hammer. And I'm sorry, but I have to pause this right here. That is doing my big old titties in. So it's nice and quiet. If you prefer it quiet, then that's up to you. For some reason, I uh, put it back on, but it was actually doing my head in. So obviously, what we're doing then is just getting rid of all the writing, <laughs> which is next to the pictures of the um, obviously very crudely drawn fat guy, triple chin, yellow teeth kind of guy. So you'll be m removing the writing. And the picture. So basically we're just looking out for obviously all the bullying ones and just getting rid of them there. I'm so sorry, I shouldn't laugh, but... No, why are you puking in my mom? That toilet full of diarrhea is my mom, that's why I smell like it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Holy crap. Alright then. I'm sorry, I know, it's, I know it's harsh and bullying is extremely wrong, but I did chuckle at that. Why are you hurling into my mom? That's why I smell like diarrhea. Alrighty then! So get out your ban hammer again, your harassment banner, and click on the writing where it says way lame. Submit that. And of course we are doing this for a missable achievement by the way, flagging both Corey and Zane's pages right here. This one is missable. Obviously it is at the very beginning of the game anyway, which is fine. Uh, so it shouldn't take too long to get back into it, but obviously that is why we are doing both of these then. 
So we are literally almost done. We are now almost eligible for flagging. We need to scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page. For some reason, he thinks that we can't see it. I thought I'd wonder about scrolling down my page. A star star hole. Naughty. Naughty. Like we don't know what that is. The goddamn A star star hole. So, we'll uh, get rid of that, then we can fly all the way up, and now we can actually flag the page. 22 violation points. It's a lot of points. Well, at least it's better than a Manchester United style point, isn't it? Blech. Anyway, so flagging that page then, when we get out of it, the achievement should now unlock. So you should now have unlocked both achievements for flagging both Corey's and Zane's pages. So again, have a look at the emails if you want to, but what we're going to do is go on to, uh, as you can see at the top there, it works kind of like a folder sort of style there, Teentopia Harassment. The additional violations found are obviously for Zane, which again unlocked us the seeped achievement. So now we can go to case three, which is the Kappa Cash Extra Legal Commerce. Now again, this is the third case, but it's going. we're basically going to be looking for adverts which tells us to get nuts with cash. So of course we'll be using a different ban hammer this time. So we're going to head off and of course now there's a couple of ways that we can actually do this achievement but I just found this the quickest and easiest way without having to mess about too much. So back on Tintinet we go and go home and once here we're going to be scrolling down and we're going to go to open eyed which is the second from bottom right there. Go to open eyed this one is a bit of a pain, and I'll tell you why in just a moment. But we're going to scroll down and go to Professor Helper for Hypnos. So there it is, Professor Helper. And basically what we're going to be doing is, uh, we're going to be downloading this guy. Now, so go ahead, click here to download and install Professor Helper for Hypnos. Now, if anybody remembers the early days of the internet, Microsoft Word, anyone remember the paperclip? Which used to annoy the crap out of you with hints and tips? This is like that, but worse. So click off that, go to Download Manager, which is the second icon there. Scroll down, click on Professor Helper. Uh, double click it if you have to. That is going to install it. Uh, and this guy, we, we are going to click on Yes, Help Me this time. We're going to get the achievement for help. You would have got that one anyway. Uh, but basically, we're just going to click off that for now. Now, there's a reason we're going to be asking him to help us out. So click on the Professor Helper signal there. A symbol. <laughs> click on Yes, Help Me until we get to Katie Cudley's Cat Corner, which, of course, is not a 50-year-old single woman who's done this, of course. Um, we're going to scroll down when we're on this page. It may take you a couple of times to get it. It's all random, the adverts. But as you can see, it says, Buy Now with Kappa Cash. Click on the hammer. Go down to the fifth one. And this is why he's annoying, because he keeps popping up. Go to number five, the extra legal commerce one, and then just click on the buy now with Kappa Cash. It's all the same advert, so this is what we'll be doing, just getting rid of a lot of that. And as you can see, that is why Professor Helper is such a pain in my ass. He keeps popping up, but we will uninstall him a bit later on. So click on where he just said, meet Professor Helper's other furry friends, and then click on all of these. It's a free cruise credit report. And go down now to buy now with Kappa Cash. This is basically the wave, as you've just seen, is like a virus. So we need to be getting rid of this virus and Professor Helper. All jerk-offs. All jerk-offs. So now we can just click back once. And then go on to Blood Money Book. Basically, all four you see there, we're just going to be getting rid of the Kappa Cash. They will all have this advert on it. So click on the number five again. Go on to Buy Now with Kappa Cash. Ah, God damn it, you goddamn son of a bitch, go away, we don't want your stupid help. God damn it, you can you can lick a cheesy nutsack, Professor Helper, please. And then, of course, going back, clicking on the year 2000 survival kit. <laughs> a couple of energy drinks and a book. All right, only, f only $50, wow, that sounds not like a ripoff. Click on the cap of cash, of course, getting your number five ban hammer out. And that's that one complete. So, what we're going to be doing now is getting rid of the wavy virus and getting rid of Professor Douchebag. So, click back just a couple of times and you'll see on the right-hand side, uh, when we're on the Professor Helper main page here, on the right-hand side you can see the tags. So, click on the one that says Professor. 
Professor. And then at the bottom, Professor Helper and install. You you and your robot rowboat bloody hands can flub off. Professor Helper uninstall. Scroll down a little bit. You do have to pay $33 or Bitcoin or whatever the hell. Hypnocoin, sorry. Obviously, that is why we done, we've done a lot, so we can have a lot of coins eh, to get rid of this butt snatch. So that's that. That's him done. Thank God. But now we need to get rid of this uh, wavy kind of virus. Why do I keep turning on the music? It's friggin' annoying. Yep, thank you, green alien dude. So, now we're going to click on the search bar again, and then what we're going to put in is HypnoCure. H-Y-P-N-O... C U R E that is Hypnocure. Hypnocure. And then of course click the return button. Click on it then. There's the, there should only be one option, Hypnocure Merchant Soft. And uh, basically this is kind of like uh, every antivirus equipment out there. So 500 Hypnocoin? We will be coming to that later on, but for now we'll just be grabbing the light version, which is what normal people do. 66 hypno coins, so we've got 315 left. Do not worry, we will be getting more. I'm not sure if this wavy virus is a random event though, or if it happens every time. So, but I'm just showing you anyway what will happen if it does happen. If you do end up getting a virus at some point, so you need to go to Hypno Cure, then we need to actually download it. So, go to Download Manager. Install it, and then of course the new icon will appear at the bottom of the home page right there. But what we can do is click on the Cure Me option. And that should be good. So now we are free from AIDS. Congratulations, everyone. AIDS free for another week. Woohoo! But we are not quite done with the case yet. So if you go back onto the home page, go on the internet, back onto the home page, scroll down and go back into Open AID. AID, AID, AID. The music is just so cool. <laughs> Takes me back to a happier day. Go down to Sherry Heels. Sherry Heels All Pain. Basically, Booze Hound. And then what we need to do, we need to pay another 33 uh, pennies now. Because we're going to go on the uh, button there, Consult Sherry now. Then we're going to pay the 33 Hypno Coin. This is not a scam. Well, that ought to, that makes me feel so much better then. So those Nigerian princes then, they weren't a scam. I could have I could have been an absolute billionaire by now. Bastards! So anyway, what we can do now, we're going to be sent an email. That's what we're going to go down to the uh, message session, the HSPD Enforcer dashboard. And as you can see, it's right at the very top. So now there should be a clickable link. Jump to Sherry's consultation price list. And here we are then, and we've got quite a few of these adverts, these Kappa Cash adverts. So again, we need to whip out your hammer, get it out of your pants. <laughs> yeah, I've done that. I stretched that out a bit there. Click number five, of course, and then smash out the adverts. I think there are three on this particular page. So when we have done these, what we can do now is flag the page. Um, I don't know if you actually, uh, you don't have to flag the page, I don't think if you don't want, but you know, for extra up your guts, that is what we're going to do, just an extra rub and salt in wounds. Um, so we're going to do it just in case, just to be on the safe side anyway, so we're going to flag the page. And that is that done for case three. So now we can head out, go into our inbox again, our enforcer dashboard, go into your cases, and then we can now close the case. That should now unlock us the next achievement, which is of course the cashed out achievement. So next up, we are going to be getting a very 
missable achievement. Basically, we have to wait for an email uh, just for a little bit. And basically, what we have to do is pay this guy 200 hypno coin. So make sure, of course, that you've got 200, 200 hypno coin ready. If you've been following the guide, you should have by now. So what we need to do is just wait for this email. If you do not give him the money and you progress to the next section of the game, you will actually miss out on this achievement. So be very, very careful. Make sure to do this now because you cannot get... This is like part one of the achievement. You won't be able to get it later on. So there it is then. So we've got the email deep into the deep. So he's basically going to be like, look, I want to travel, I want to go somewhere, I kind of need some money off a random person that I have no idea who it's off. Submarine trip, of course. So click on the link, head all the way to the bottom, and then click on the 200 HypnoCoin link. So like I said, as long as you've been following the guide, you should have more than enough money for now. But if you don't, make sure to be getting it, because again, this is part one of an admissible achievement. That you will not be able to get if you do not donate the money. So, we'll come back to this one a little bit later on. So we're going to be heading on, we are now on to case 4, regardless. You don't actually have to go back to the homepage because we are going to be getting rid of a whole bunch of viruses. So we can go straight into the search bar. Um, to be honest, this was more of a kind of an OCD thing for me, where it's like, right, I have to start again from the main homepage. Uh, but we're going to go on the search bar, and we're going to type in Cruncher, which is uh, yeah, yeah, which is K-R-U-N-C-H-E-R. So that is Cruncher, but of course it's the cute 1990s way of spelling things. Or the hardcore cool way, of course, the real chowder man. Click on the only link that is there, and this virus is basically going to contain this really, really creepy-ass heart with kind of blood eyes. Okay then. So, what we need to do then, we're going to be clicking on our ban hammer, of course, which is at the top left-hand uh, corner, right next to the star. This time we need to be clicking on number three, which is illegal or profane activity. That's going to be number three. Click on it. And then click on the big, obvious, blood-eyed, heart kind of virus-looking thing there. So that's another bit of extra dollar do since we have just been completely rinsed. Thanks to being nice to that bloody dude with the submarine trip. Now, we're going to go back on the search button. Now, as you can see, obviously, the tag's on the right-hand side. Now, we don't actually have to type in the person's actual page. We can actually just type in one of the tags, and it'll come up. So this time, we're going to type in CARS, C-A-R-S, and we're going for Burning Rubber 82's page. Burn Rubber 50. So if you, tap, if you typed in any of these tags, which you'll see on the right-hand side now, that page would have come up. So... This is where we need to be. We're going to get rid of this virus now. So again, get out your ban hammer number three and whack it straight in the old aorta there. I absolutely love that music. Honestly, I do. So what we need to do next is type in design which is, uh, of course, D-E-S-I-G-N. IGN, of course, who absolutely are obsessed and love Call of Duty games. Uh, that IGN, yes. So, design, and then we're going to click on Noble Warlock Design Studio, and it's going to be the same thing. Big, weird, blood-eyed heart thing is going to be staring you down. Once a fight, we're going to get out the band hammer and get number three. Suck it to me, baby. This time we're going to get the search bar out again and type in temple, T-E-M-P-L-E. So make sure to do that. This time we're going to Gus Griswold, Gus's Temple of Serenity. 
and just do the exact same thing again, bloody hard, stick it straight in the old pipe there. So he explodes and dies. So we can now click back on the home page. We've basically done with the first part of the game now. So like I said, it was kind of the tutorial section uh, where it just teaches you to go through uh, each different thing. We're going to close this case now. And we, uh, to be fair, we are a real hero. Don't use that word often, but all of you are a hero, whoever plays this game and whoever follows the guide. So uh, basically what we've got, if we scroll all the way to the top of our emails here, we're going to see an email from our friend Dylan, who is basically going to upgrade us. So I'm getting confused because I haven't scrolled all the way to the top um, because I am pure douchebaggery apparently. So let's see how long it took me to realize, is it? <laughs> come in, come in. Oh, there we go. Look, I'm like, all right, there we go. So to the top, we see Dylan. He gives us a link that we can click on. So that is what we are going to click on. The one at the very bottom there the HS08 Outlaw thing. Now again, like I said, if you haven't donated your 200 HypnoCoin to the Submarine guy yet, now is the time to do it before you click this link. If you haven't done it and you click this link, you will not get that missable achievement. So make sure to do that and get the Squishers achievement as well. Any other missable achievement that you may not have got that I've already gotten, make sure to do that before installing this. Otherwise, you'll just have to replay the game, which is not always a bad thing because <laughs> it is really cool. So this, basically what's going to happen is just like this big sort of error thing. It's an automatic thing, so do not worry. But basically, the main aim of the game is if you press the X button, you shoot out like this laser beam. Um, and that'll sort of get rid of the cars in front of you. But this is all just one big story related thing at the minute. So you're going to be a bit jumpy, a bit laggy. So just enjoy for now. So, don't worry about this then, you haven't lost any game save progress. Click on your load save and just enjoy. I love this bit of music by the way. Important message received from dispatch. Important message received from dispatch. I don't know why, but that genuinely just reminded me of a 1999 New Year's Eve party, that bit of music there. But we have now progressed to the next part of the game. We'll get the crashed achievement. And what we can do, or what I end up actually doing, is just having a quick look at the emails. Basically, it's going to tell us um, how many days the other guys that we flagged have got banned for. So they can complain and be like, oh my god, he zucked me. He zucked me off, you son of a Bitch. Dylan apologizes as well for basically fudging us up there. So, cheers, pal. It's very nice. But what we're going to do is actually click on the link again. So, take some time off. The same email as we, as we read before and got before. We are going to install it once again. Only this time it's going to work. So, this is a missable achievement because I think you can just... I believe you can just crack on with the story without installing it and without playing it. Uh, but you actually have to play this again, the fixed version, to be able to um, get the achievement, of course. The good car game achievement. So, basically, what we can do now, if you are running low on money, what you can do, if you press the X button, like I said, to lasso people with the laser. Um, it's got something at the top there, the wanted outlaw, but I couldn't be asked. So, what I did was just exit the game. That will unlock the achievement anyway, so... 
that game is literally if you just need a little bit more coin, which you shouldn't need to if you're following this guy, but that will unlock that achievement for us anyway, just for playing it. So, now we can carry on. And this is where it can potentially get a little bit confusing because it hasn't told us that we've got any more cases. But what we can do um, is like five sort of side cases, which it doesn't tell us about. We need to sort of figure it out on our own. How the hell we were supposed to do that, I don't know. But that's why I'm here for you. I'm going to tell you what to do. So go on Tinternet, go on web browser and type in Cool Punk. C-O-O-L-P-U-N-K. Cool Punk. And uh, obviously click return there. And what we need to do is find the page uh, which says Cold Snap Reviews. So that'll be sort of more towards the bottom. So we head to the bottom. A lot of stuff to do with Cool Punk. Cool Spunk. <coughs> cool Punk, I'm sorry. Sorry, autocorrect there in the real world. Cold Snap Reviews, CP Cold Snap. So click on that page. And basically, if you take a look, uh, what you're going to see is him uh, complaining about the state of Cool Punk and mentioning his fake Cool Punk's page. So that is what we're going to be doing next. Um, that, that's if you're really interested in the story, by the way, just letting you know what's happening. Um, so when we've looked at this page, we can now go back into the search bar and do a search word for the word fake. F-A-K-E. Uh, what we can see then is a page called Fake Cool Punk Watch. There's only two, and that is the second one there. Fake Cool Punk Watch. Now basically, absolutely everything on this page can be reported for harassment. So you get out your ban hammer. Harassment, of course, is number two. And then what you can do then is just, just smash it out all on the right in there. And then that should be this first small case done. <laughs> Message received from dispatch. So there we go then, I think, bit, I think I've done about six things, you can do up to eight I think on this page, maybe a little bit more, but I think around six or seven should be fine, so if we click out of the web browser, thank you green dude, click on your messages, uh, again have a look at the messages if you want, so it, uh, yeah it tells us we've got the case after we've already started the case, so thanks a bunch for that, useless crap hole. And there it is, KC005, Coolfest Harassment, 246. So yeah, you can find six violations, that'll be enough to close the case. We'll get a little bit of cash, and that is one out of five of these sort of side cases done. So, on to the second smaller one, go back on Tinternet web browser there. And we are going to be heading back to Teen Topia. We're doing a little bit more of the harassment stuff. So... The page we're going to then is Dark Twilight Tiff's Beyond Twilight page. So this is the one. Beyond Twilight, Twilight, sorry. Again, autocorrect in real life. It's a problem. It's a problem. Uh, and then basically what we're going to be doing then is it's more conversations with Zane and Corey. Look, the absolute douche hats. So click on the link here. The, dear HSPD Enforcers. And then what we need to do, there's a lot of chit chat going on, but the ones that we need are the last photo of messages from Corey and the second and third ones from Zane. And it should be obvious the ones um, which we need to ban because it, th this bottom one here, excuse me, I'm naked. 
are you? What's up, sexy? Never mind your ugly suck it. Right, cheers, pal. <laughs> cheers for that. Zane. God damn it, Zane. I tell you what, <laughs> the bottom messages I had, I've had more than enough in my lifetime. <gasps> I'm so sad. <laughs> but now I am happily married. Ish, not married, but you know. So, uh, this is the one. Are you a virgin? Hello, I bet you are. I know you're thinking about me. So it's the one up as well. Man, kids had no chill back in the day. They've got no more chill as well, thanks to goddamn TikTok. Ugh, how I hate TikTok. And the last one we're going to be doing, as you can see, that one is fine. And you just need to be having a little look. With all due respect, did your parents teach you manners? Blah, blah, blah. So this is the one, obviously, anywhere where it's a bit rude and a bit bullyish. That is the one that we need to be getting on. But that should be enough for us to get paid, get laid, and close the case. I'm a poet, and I did not rhyme it. Anyway, so we're going to go back on the inbox now. Again, I always just get rid of the e uh, the emails there. Uh, for no reason, don't really look at them. But we're going to head on to the cases. Case 006, Teentopia Harassment, and we're going to close this bad boy. So that should be two out of five complete now. Again, this is another missable achievement, because if we do uh, the music case, that's actually the story story progression case. We do that first. Before these ones, we miss out on this achievement. So again, this is why we're doing it in this particular order. So back to the homepage on Tinternet Browser. And this is a pretty straightforward one. So going, we are going back onto Good Time Valley. It's not really a good time. It's a crap time every time I've been on it so far. And if we scroll down a little bit, we've got the Stand with Gooper page. Now, this is the very first case that we've done. Only this time, he's bloody everywhere now. So, pff, we're just doing exactly the same thing. So, it's Banhammer, number one content infringement. And then what we're going to do is just get rid of all these fish goopers. The Stand with Gooper banner there. Basically, anything with the bloody fish goop, you just get rid of. This one is again fairly straightforward. Received from Merchant Soft. Important Everything on this page this is the only page. I think there's um, other pages with these group of fish on, so if you do need any more, there are other pages with this group of fish on, so you can check them out. But doing it on just this page should be enough to close this case. Okay, so I am very sorry. There is one more page we're going to be doing. Go, going back and going into Abby's world. And we're going to see two fished face Gooper lads. One at the top there and the stand with Gooper sign. And then that should actually be that. So then we can close the case, get paid, get laid, and go off the rails for five minutes. Woo! So, yeah, again, you could read all the emails if you want. It, it doesn't make a difference. It's just very intradasting, uh, some of the emails we get sent. But that should be that then. So, additional violations found. And we get paid a mega leap, mega bucks for it. So, we've got two more cases to get the cleaned achievement. And now, what we're going to do is go back on the emails and basically remember the Sherry Heels that we've done a little bit earlier on, where we're going to be clicking on that link again. If you didn't follow the guide and pay the 33, there, there it is, so the Sherry Heels, click on the link once again. If you didn't pay the 33 Hypnokine like I did earlier on, you can actually do a search for the term Sherry Heels and click the label Click the label sherryconsult.hsp uh, HSP to get into the page this way. Because all we're doing is this whole Kappa Cash thing again. Man, this chick does just not give up. Hun. It's the 1990s. You should have started OnlyFans years ago. You would have been rich as hell. So, again, it's the number five ban hammer, and we're just going through this again. 
by the way, if you do end up going the other way and you go to sherryconsult.hsp, uh, what, what you'll have to do is click the link that says click here to access my service and then you can put in two potential passwords which are either Asbury Healing 1937 or Asbury Psychic 1937. So as soon as you do that, then you should get to the same page I was on and get rid of the cap of cash. So there are two different ways that you can go about it there if you went another way and didn't follow what I did earlier on. But Either way, whichever way you've done it, you can now click on case 009, close the case, get paid, get laid, get the tequila down your throat. And so we are finally on our last one then, and this is the easiest of the lot. So go back on Tinternet web browser, go home and go to the cafe, or the cafe, or the coffee. Uh, go down anyway and go down and find Jazz's software reviews Not Jizz's software reviews. I don't want to know about any Jizz reviews to be honest And uh, basically it says that uh, this janitor game Maybe it's gonna earn you a lot of hypno coin, but we all know basically that it is spam It's malicious so go into the search bar and type in the word janitor, so which is J-A-N-I-T-O-R I know you can probably spell these things, but yeah, you know, just a double case in it. Just a double double check in it. So go into the only link there, janitor account, and basically, you, no, you can you can actually download this if you really want to, um, but it's pretty much a waste of time and it really doesn't get you any uh, hypno coins. So get out your ban hammer, go to number four, which is malicious software, and you actually have to hit the download janitor accounting software. Uh, link there Hitting the one that I just did obviously does not work I don't know why I've done that but That is the one that you need to actually hit the download button there And that should be enough to receive the case close it Get paid. Yeah, baby. We are done But we are going to be waiting around for about 30 seconds to a minute or so basically we've got to wait for the We've got to wait for our green little alien dude friend there to let us know that we've got an incoming message received from dispatch because we still haven't had the email to say go ahead and do it, but we've already done it, so we wait. Ah, there we go, look, so spank you little green alien man. That should be the one and that should be that should be the email for us to say, right, Janitor found, you're a bit late on. We are on it like a bonnet on Sonic's Tails is oh, damn it! Anyway, moving on. So that should be enough then, that, that should then unlock the cleaned achievement and now we can actually just crack on with the main story progression, which there are not really a lot of cases left for the main story. So if there was a point where you just needed to blast through the game again, you could literally just do this in about half an hour or so. It is that easy. So we're going to Starport Castle Dream Station now. Now this link was not here before, so you can't... Uh, just skip ahead or anything. You've got to wait and play the game exactly as I've done to get to this point Go to Sovereign Alliance of Imagine, which is at the very bottom And then we're gonna go and come visit and explore the Freelands So it's kind of like a very little puzzle game. So we're going up first just click the arrows exactly the same as I do so up and then Click up again. Now again, what you can do is move the mouse around really quickly just so the screen loads a bit quicker. Go to the right. Go to the down. You just see it there. There it is. And on this page is going to be a little tiny path on the very right hand side. Just next to a bunch of trees. You can just see it there. So we'll go here. Open up this... Um, doors or whatever it is and click on the link there X trial 2 yeah and then we're going back to the non-secret freelance apparently and then head up up and away baby I gotta stop singing go left go down down, 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 down. Now you can see the triangle on the left. So click on that shit. Sorry, on the link. So click on that. And now we need to enter the password, which is 
Signal Archer 5. So it's S I G N U L L A R C H E R and the number 5. So that should be the one. Click return, and now we should actually be able to get into the accelerator page. But we've got to answer the following six questions to be able to get in, so I'm going to let you guess. <laughs> of course I'm not. Of course I'm not. So the first one then is number two, the Freelands. Then it's number one, played in a play guitar and a cosmic rock band. Then it's number four, Scaries. Then it's number five, Marginius. Marginius? Yeah, number five anyway. <laughs> and then it's number one, a humanoid bull and a sentient cape. And then it is number two, Data Cogs. Number two, Data Cogs. That should be all the questions that we can get in. And, well, basically we're good to go. Now, very importantly here, get don't donate these 11 hypno coins to both of these guys here. Remember, we done the 200 earlier on. Yeah, so now we should get the achievements for philanthropist. Now, basically, that is just for donating to three people around the internet. But because we progressed forward into the story, you can't actually uh, donate the 200 hypno coin earlier on, so you will miss out on the achievement. But hopefully, you followed along, donated earlier on, donated these two. And then, yeah, you should get the Philanthropist achievement. So, now get out your ban hammer, number four, and then uh, use it on the download link. The click here, the download link. And then that should be nice. You can download the link again, but again, it just makes it just, it's, it's just all crap. Like, much stuff on the internet these days and those days as too. As well, I mean. So now, like I said, we can go ahead and close this case. That will be case 007, Speed Booster Malicious Software. So close that case. Now, this is a story-related progression one, which is why we're doing this one now. And then we'll have a new email from Dispatch. Dispatch of cookies, yeah. And it's basically the pirated music download one, which, again, is the story-related progression one. So if you haven't done the cleaned achievement... Obviously, if you've been following the video, you should have, but if not, make sure to do that first before you finish this music um, case. So, what we're going to do then is do a little search. No porn involved, we're doing an actual search. Naughty, naughty, you teasing me? <laughs> no. What we're searching for is FLST, and then click the search button, or the return button, and you should see the top one, which is Flist Access Portal. So, we're going to click on that one and then you need to click on the click here to access Flist. Do not share your password but because we are boss we are the Mark Zuckerberg of the 90s we want to zuck everyone zuck everyone off. Um, you've got to enter your password which is thanks for the HC so that's T-H-A-N-K-S the number 4 T-H-E-H-C So, thanks for the hard cock. Ah! Hey, my pleasure. But but mine's only about an inch long. Anyway, that's for another much more depressing story later on in life. So, what we need to do now, go back into your search bar and type in F80085. That's F80085. Eight, five, and then press the return button there, the search. And then what we can do is DM Noise Pusher. Yeah, because I am super cool, Noise Pusher. And basically, what we can do now is just ban, ban everything on here. Get your ban hammer out. Now, there is a longer way to go around. This is basically the shortcut version. Type in the number. Uh, you don't actually have to download these files. All we need to do is get your ban hammer out there. And we are literally just going to keep banning every single link until we get an email of a certain douchebag. So, number one, just keep submitting, keep banning every single link until our little green friend up there says that we have an email from Dylan. But yeah, like I said, there is a long version way about it. You've got to go to different websites, download a couple of apps, blah, blah, blah. But... 
you know, why do that when you can just <laughs> type in the number and then do it that nice and easy cheesy way? Because that's everybody's favorite, right? Well, it's my favorite anyway. Woohoo! We've got Hypno Mail. I do hope that it's not um, any of those local girls that are in my area that are looking for fun. Because I get about a billion messages and I'm just too busy for that, okay? Just too busy. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you are wanting a little bit more money, if you're not on enough money, you can literally just keep going until you get as much as you desire. But we get an email from Ilan. Uh, uh, Ilan. Dylan. And well, 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 so we've just basically reported Dylan. Uh, he's not happy. This next bit then is just automatic. We have been removed from active enforcement duty. Which, if that was a robot in today's world, I think it would be taken over and probably get out of, you know, Terminator style machine guns and stuff. But this is all, next bit is just all automatic, so just enjoy <laughs> as we get rebooted again. And hated this time. Woo! Welcome back, Thales Hunter. It's been 35 days since you last logged on. Wow, that's a long time. So, welcome back again and again. God damn you, Ilan Dylan. Yeah, that that was that should have been the name of a rapper in the 90s. Yo, my name is Ilan Dylan. Uh, and the key. Anyway, so it's been 35 days apparently since we last logged on. And this is basically the last chapter of the game. This is going to happen a little bit, so it's not your Xbox or computer. <laughs> Do not worry. Um, but basically, yeah, we were on to the last chapter. There's going to be an epilogue. Uh, that we could do after as well but for now again we could just um, have a little look through the emails basically someone for, called MS Samantha uh, has basically sorted us out so spank you very much but if we now head over to cases we can see what we have to do we have to stop the Y2000 mine crash attack you can close this case by the way to get yourself an extra couple of bucky boos Another 30 hypno cane, which would be worth billions of dollars in today's currency. Um, so yeah, click on case 12. Basically, you can have a little read of what we need to do, but you don't have to go through it all alone. I'm there for you, honey. I'm there for you, babes. Right, let's do this. Go to web browser Tintinet. Go on to Teentopia. Councillor Ronnie reporting for duty, except this time it is looking pretty fudged up and quite creepy in all fairness. So it's very well done, but you need to click on the link that I'm on right now, the one with all the big writing on it. Uh, time until mine crash. Don't worry, you won't run out of time. <laughs> Don't worry, you won't have to do it extremely quickly because that's just going to keep going. You need to click on the uh, keyboard right there and the password is Marshmallow. I think it could be either Marshmallow or Marshmallow, either one, but it's M-A-R-S-H-M-E-L-L-O-W. So, like I said, it can, I'm pretty sure it can be either Marshmallow or Marshmallow, but, you know, either way, you should be able to stop that, and that will be uh, Chapter 3 done. 
it's the epilogue actually which is going to be the uh, bigger case to be fair <laughs> so what we could do is just head back into our emails the HSBC uh, email section enforcer uh, 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 god damn it what's it called Basically, we are needing to wait for an email, that uh, important message from dispatch, and then we can go into the Enforcer dashboard. Go into the inbox, and they're basically going to be like, oh my god, you stopped it? And I'm like, bruh, I am on literal robot steroids right now. But then what's going to happen, as soon as we click out of here, um, it's going to start installing, no, I don't even need to click out, it's going to start installing Outlaw 0.99.99.99.99. So, this bit's all automatic, so just relax, chill, enjoy. L U L L T L T L T L T L T L T T L T L L T T L Sales Hunter Ha 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 the P H F P H F H P F H A Sales Hunter something's not right Log off immediately and power down your headset set 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 Hello, L U L L T L T L T L T L T L T A teen hacker responsible for the year 2000 mine crash virus that left at least six hypnospace users dead has become the first juvenile charged in federal court with manslaughter by way of computer hacking. Tim Randall Stevens, who went by the handle Tim McGadden in hypnospace, will serve up to six years in federal prison for the crime. The virus is said to have So, I mean, if you've been playing the game legit, you would have seen Timageddon uh, quite a few times sort of pop up here and there. But basically, he's the one that uh, came up with the mine crash, left six people dead, and now he's going to be bummed in prison. So, well, you know, don't kill people. You won't be bummed in prison. That's just, it's just common sense, that. But anyway, we are now into the future, so actually whatever date it is that you're currently playing, that will be the date at the very, very top there. And this is where we get the um, 
the Hypnospace Archival Project. Now, this is basically what we need for the thanked achievement, um, which is a course for going through every single page in every single year, the three years that we've done, or the, all the months and years. And yeah, so obviously we'll be doing this last. We're just going through the rest of the game first. So go into your download manager and click on App Install. And then what you'll be able to see, there we go. So it pops up there right at the very bottom. Hap, your what's happening, Cap? And then if you click on it, basically, as you can see there, one's yellow. That means it's already been archived by someone else. And the sort of red one means the page has not yet been decrypted. As you can see at the top there, you've got the capture dates. So you need to get 100% on absolutely everything. But again, we will come back to that a little bit later on after we finish this one. So we're coming up to an achievement now, and this is very important again. We're basically going to be solving these lost and found cases. Very, very easy. Um, and by the way, as you can see there, the captures, you can actually scroll through, through the dates. But this is important because if you did not donate the 200 HypnoCoin earlier, you will not be able to download, the, uh, grab this achievement. So that's why it was very, very important to have donated the 200 HypnoCoin to the guy earlier. Again, if not, and you do have to start again, it, again, it only takes about half an hour or so to get to this point anyway, so not all is lost, but, you know, that's half hour of pooping or eating that you could be doing, you know? So, first things first, if you go into the search bar, type in 00088D, and basically the HAP is directly behind the Welsh Hunter sign there again, so apologies about that. But if you click on that, you can then change all of the dates here. Click on um, the Chowdy Man, and then click on One-Legged Man, and the next link as well. That should be enough then to uh, basically just close this lost and found case. As soon as you get that, yeah, there we go. So we've got the message from Hap already. Uh, so you can go and read that email if you want, but what we're going to do is just carry on for the minute. So now if we type in Freelands 4D, F-R-E-E-L-A-N-D-S, space uh, number 4 and D, for your deal deal, uh, <laughs> press return, sorry, press return and then you can see the Freelands 5E. So again we need to get up the capture which again is at the very bottom right hand corner. Go up to November 5th, 1999. I don't think it actually makes too much of a difference if you're on the November 5th or November 26th, to be honest, but do it just to be safe. So then go up, go up again. This time we'll be going left. And then just, you can just uh, move. You can either get rid of or just move the capture to the sort of left to get it out of the way there. And then what we need to do is head down because there you will see the down button and then just click on the microphone, and that will be the second lost and found case done. That's... God damn it, Kevin. Stop. Stop, Kevin. Stop. Uh, yeah, thank you, Hap Tamara. Yeah, thank you very much. So, next one, we, we're going to get off Kevin's page there. So, the next search that we're going to do... Is search for Roddy's FLST page. So we need to put in F00021D. F00021D. And that'll take us to Roddy's FLST page. And then basically we are done. That That is literally it. You have to do it on November the 5th as well, 1999. Um, but you can actually click on the test pet download link. So you actually have to... Uh, click on that, so make sure to click that, that will now be in our download folder. Now we can, it's a little bit more complicated, but uh, type in Horus, <laughs> H-O-R-U-S, and then click on the top one, Children of the Horus Home. Oh, yep, thank you, Artie, thank you very much. I'll come back to you in a bit. So enter, we need to now input a password, which is... Falcon 123, so that's F-A-L-C-O-N 123. 
Now again, this one was supposed to be one where you've, you have to put multiple pieces of pages together and try and be an actual detective, but, you know, we need to get this done quick. So you don't actually have to do anything on this page, you can just enter it and that will basically be lost and found number 4 oh dunno. So now this is the one. Um, so type in deep in to the deep. Now remember we had to give the guy uh, 200 hypno coin to go on his submarine expedition earlier on. If you did not give him the 200, you will miss out on this achievement because basically there'll be something else on the web page. Um, he'll basically be like, well, I couldn't go, so up your guts. Uh, click on the only link right here. But that's why it was very important to have donated earlier on so you can get this achievement. Again, it'll only take about half hour to get to this point again if needed, but... You know, better to save, better to save time. So go on to November 26th, and then click on December 31st, 1999, and then you can, there you can see he actually went on his submarine expedition. So that's good, and so that should now be all lost and found cases done. Now what we can just do is just blast through all of the emails, and then the achievement should now unlock. So just go ahead, click on this link which Hap Chelsea has given us, and there the achievement should unlock. But they're all easy enough, they were easy enough. As long as obviously you've been following the guide, you should be at the same point and unlock the same achievement, right? Meow. Yeah, baby, yeah! Well done, Dimitri. I'm very proud, very proud of you. Even You asked a, a total stranger for 200 Hypnocoin, and somebody gave it to you. Now, to be fair... That's that's pretty nice. It's it's a nice story that. So, but now we can just crack on with the rest of the game, finish up the story here. So we're going to the main web browser again in November fifth, nineteen ninety nine. What we're going to do is another little search. So we're going back basically to Roddy's homepage for the minute. So it's F zero 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 two one D, and obviously what we're doing is basically. Um, uh, downloading the test pet, which you should have done earlier, but, you know, it, I've done it three times apparently. And then download the link above it, 3y3.hex. So, clicking those two, very important to be able to progress into the game here. So basically that 3y3 is a locked folder. The only way we can unlock it is with a test pet. So, into your download manager, uh, download the test pet, drag it out, and then install it. There we go, so we've got a little test pet, which we'll see on screen, there he is, like a, that's not a pet, that's a nightmare, but that's okay with us. And then get the 3x3, and it's basically in like a burger, or a, or a sandwich. It's an encrypted file, we can't get into it, so what we need to do, drag it onto our animal, he's basically going to eat it, he's going to love that shit. And then we can go, uh, we can stroke him all day long, uh. But you need to keep stroking him because he's basically going to poop out the file. And that is going to be the secret eye, the all seeing eye, which is going to come in extreme handiness to be able to finish this game. There's a big, big floating turd on my screen. By the way, your test pets can take a big turd, so. So what we're going to be doing now is grabbing the hacks achievement. So go back on Tinternet web browser. Get in the search bar again and go to the Freelands. So again, that's F R E E L A N D S. Click return. And then click on the only link there, Freelands 5E. What we can do, just either get rid of the captures or just tuck it out of the way. It's a bit annoying actually sometimes. Um, Click out. What you can do then is get the all C and I out again. Sorry, it's just behind my Welsh hunter sign there, but basically this is what you will see when you get out the all C and I see. So scroll down on the D-pad, and you can just see like a Grim Reaper on a boat, which you can only see with this all C and I. So you click on the Grim Reaper on the boat, uh, get rid of the the I, but it'll take you to a brand new location. Click on this reckoning link right here. Dream tools. And then get out of here, go to your download manager, and just download the, the uh, Reckoning Dream Tools app there. Mm -hmm. 
So you see the link now pop up the ZZZ. So we're going to click on that link. Uh, just get rid of the installer there. Click on donate at the top right hand corner. And then what you can do is we have to enter a negative amount. So what we can do is uh, click the minus negative amount and then just click 99999 a couple of times. That is going to get us a heck a shit load of coins. And it is also going to get us the hacks achievement. So yeah baby we're rich oh why can't i do this why can't i be rich anyway so that gets us the hacks achievement now what we need to do then get rid of all the poop on screen stop pooping damn it uh but now what we can do is basically just finish off the epilogue now this one can be slightly more confusing as you can see above the uh the saw there there is a little link now to actually decrypt that, what we need to do is buy HypnoCure Pro, the one for 499 HypnoCoin. And then come back to that one a little bit later on. Um, but of course we couldn't afford it before, now we can. So as you can see, it's not there in the past, but it is here in December 31st, 1999. So there's a couple of things that we have to do. And the very first thing that we need to do then is click on the search bar and then just type in Leaky, L-E-A-K-Y and then we'll be just clicking on the only link that appears Merchant Sales Leaky Piping Re 3 Coning underscore Inc Coolness bro Yeah So when we're on this page there's a bunch of holes and you're probably thinking what the hell has this got to do with anything? Uh, but what we can do is actually find some hidden chat logs. Now, also very importantly, if you go into your emails, uh, go into emails, Sam would have sent you a message, and basically there's a link you can click to get a sixth ban hammer out. So that is very important. If you haven't done so yet, um, it's very worth doing. So get out the eye when you're on this page, by the way. And it will be, as you can see, the very bottom one, leaky pipe in. Click on the link, and then you can get rid of the eye. So we can go into this sort of secret page right here. There we go. And basically, what we're going to be doing then is just, I think it is the very bottom chat that we need to ban with. So, yeah, like I said, we can't use the first five ban hammers that we've been doing throughout the game. I'm pretty sure the ban, uh, Sam's ban hammer came automatically for me. You'll be able to see now. But if it doesn't for you, just go onto your emails, your hypnospace, the bloody messages, and Sam would have sent you a message saying, right, basically click this link, it'll download, and we uh, can send everything to Sam that way. So apologies, I, I didn't send it in the video. So as you can see there, S, submit evidence to Sam. That is the sixth one. So do it on the chat and she'll say, right, I'll look into this, happy days. But um, yeah, so apologies I didn't show that, I don't know where the hell it went, but that's what you meant to do then. So there is a message from Samantha basically asking us to download the link and send stuff directly to her. So apologies again if that was a little bit over explained, but for some reason um, me showing you the video went missing somewhere. So anyway, so we've got the first bit done now, so now Sam's going to have to look into that. We're going to need a little bit more proof, which is all to do with this little bit right here again. But first things first, what we're going to do is go to uh, Hypnospace Central, and we're going to click back onto Hypnocure. You can either uh, search for it in the, attack, in the search bar, or obviously you can just follow me and do what I'm doing here, but we are going back onto Hypnocure. And this time we are getting the full pro version. In fact, you've got enough money to buy it a couple of times if you wanted. But this is important, otherwise we're not finishing the game. So grab it for 499 Hypnocoin, you absolute rip-off merchants. And then what you have to do then, go back into your download manager and install that bad boy. Thank you. 
Lovely jabbly mate. So what you will now see is right up by the search bar you will now see a triangle uh, Well like an exclamation mark, you know a warning sign right next to the ban hammer right there um, Now what that does is any sort of gobbledygook any sort of encrypted writings that you can't see Clicking that warning sign right next to the ban hammer will basically decrypt the writings for us there so what we need to do then is go on to free space sounds that's f-r-e-e -E, space s-o-u-n-d-s and we are looking oh no s sorry just free sound apologies uh, but what we're looking for then is steve guys free sound fx almost at the very bottom there second from bottom and we're going to click on that so this is what i mean there's an encrypted file we can't see what it means um, and if you try to click on any links or anything, it just takes us to a nothing page, an error page. So what you have to do then, like I said, click on the warning symbol or the, the exclamation mark safe mode. Sorry, that's what it's called. <laughs> Why could I not think of that? I'm so sorry, you guys. Uh, but clicking it in safe mode, that will actually decrypt it. And there's nothing. All we're doing is basically just looking at this page. That is all. So... We're reloading it in safe mode, taking a little look, and then we're just going to move on to the freelands now. So yeah, you can actually just type in freelands, or for some reason what I do is go home and do it the sort of long way. <laughs> which is go to Starport Castle Dream Station, and then uh, go to the freelands that way. So... Uh, Sovereign Alliance of Imagination. Imagination. Head down when you're on the sort of main page there, and we're going to get out the all seeing eyeball hole again. There we go. Nice and creepy, just for us. Bring it down until you see the Green Reaper on the boat again. There we go. Get rid of that, of course. Now we're going to need to put the page to December 31st, 1999. So go ahead, click that one. And then just. Right, right, thank you, thank you buddy. Reload this in safe mode, because again, if you click the link without doing so, it'll just take you to an error page. The Merchant Soft Clinical Leak Backup. Oh, really? Okay, so now we need to click on the link, and it's basically telling us, once again, to use Second Sight. So, that's what we need to be doing. So again, whip out your eyeballs, son. And then what we need to be doing is finding, it's kind of hard to tell, but it'll say click here to download. It's basically another download link, so don't worry about the axe. There it is, click to download, unreleased, hypnospace, clinical, study, blah, 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 etc. Um, you can't actually, you've got to get the band hammer out, but you can't actually do it on the eye. So what you need to do is click on the eye, or get rid of the eye, like I've just done there, and you sort of got to remember <laughs> where it is so there it is so there it is click here to download uh, so just it's sort of in the middle of the screen there if you if you kind of put it in the middle of the screen get your ban hammer out get rid of the eye and then just click on the um, blankness and the darkness and then just hope that it was the right one so there you go so if you yeah if you kind of put it in the middle of the screen that's your sort of reference there Lovely job, that could be done. Now we've just got to wait for an email. So all we're doing is, is waiting. But hey, at least we're rich now, bruh. Huh? Time to party! Right, so that, yeah, that sort of epilogue mission was a bit of a confusing pain in the booty snatch really wasn't it but um so yeah apologies if that was a little bit all over the place there i kind of confused myself and also apologies for not showing you the uh, where samantha tells you to get the ban hammer through the link but hopefully you've done that anyway hopefully we're at this point we're all good now we can close both of the cases it took a little tiny while but we can now close both the cases and we're 
basically almost done with the story, the, basically the main mission, and we'll only have one achievement left to get. So we're going to get an, another email now of Dylan, of Dildo Dylan right here. Important message received from Dylan. So, there it is. Now, Dylan sent us a link to click. Do we trust him? Ah, yeah, he'd probably be alright. He's probably just, uh, you know, one of those very happy and very nice Nigerian princes that just want to make us billionaires, you know? So, what we're going to do, we are actually going to click on the link because it is what's needed to finish the story. Go into present day, quadruple X, 20 double X, and then click on the link there, click here to install Outlaw 1.0. Now we actually, to finish the game, get the last achievement, or the last but one achievement, we need to actually finish Outlaw 1.0, but it is not very hard at all. So click on the sort of car looking thing there, and as you can see again, it's A to jump and X to use your lasso. Basically, what's gonna happen is, this is basically like an end of game sort of thing now, so you press the... By the way, if you want to go left or right, you've got to double tap the left or right D-pad. So if you accidentally go left, just double t double tap the right D-pad and that'll get us going again. So, as you can see here then, um, what we're doing is getting rid of cars. There's only going to be sort of one car, it's not going to be very hard, just keep pressing the X button until uh, they start ascending, until you start defeating them. What if you do, what, am I going to spoil the story for you? Yes, I am. So basically, as you can see there in the event log, Citizen Dark Twilight Tiff has ascended. Um, file retrieved. So we go. We're basically after Dylan. Now every car that we shoot up, um, are basically the people that Tim Again killed. So, yeah, kind of depressing, a <laughs> very depressing end there, but that is that is the whole point of it. So, everything we've seen on screen, obviously it depends on how much you've done through the game. There might be more people or there might be less people. But the, uh, yeah, so, very sadly, the people that were sending up there are the people that Tim again killed. Oh, boy. So anyway, all we're doing, we're just doing this bit, and in the event log, you'll start seeing uh, Dylan basically say, look, come and get me, son. There he is, look. So as soon as you get through enough people, wanted outlaw Dylan, it'll be the next car. Um, so just shoot his ass up, and then just, that's it. That'll be the end of the game then. So, damn. Downloading seven files. But that is the complete end of the game, and now there is only the one big big achievement left to do. Now this is why I implored you to play on Xbox Game Pass for PC. Again, if you can't, that's no worries. You can still do it on Xbox, but oh, oh, my, my pet died. Well, come here. Um, like I said, you can still do it on Xbox, but you'll be doing it the legit longer way. Now there is a guy who has actually put up four videos on every page that you need to 
to click and to be fair to him that's awesome I will um, provide the links in the description below if you sort of need them but this is the hypnospace archival project so what you will see every new um, page that you click at the bottom right hand corner there it will say archiving project now what you need to do is go through each individual year, 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 whatever. So as you can see, the ones in red, the page has not yet been decrypted. Now, of course, if we're doing this the legit long way, you have to go through every single page on every single year uh, and basically archive every single page. Now, as you can see, there is quite a few um, from December 31st and up. The good thing about that though is, if you archive, say you archive one page on December 31st, you can actually just scroll through the years and it will archive that same page on November 26th and November 5th as well, if they are there. So you don't actually have to do like 400 on one year, 400 on the next, and then 400 on the next. You can just uh, go on a page, s click through each year, and then that should archive um, all three years then, like I said, if the page is available. Uh, now, this is another big one. I'll show you the uh, basic trick that we're going to be doing on the PC. So, like I said, on the Xbox, if you if you do it on the Xbox, you've only got an Xbox, and you do it the legit long way, that's obviously fine. But there is a debug menu that we can use to make this go a hell of a lot quicker. But once again, I fell, unfortunately, foul to this, where I got about halfway through... Uh, logged off. Now it's very important to log off if you want to save your game. Very, very sorry. I literally should have told you that from the beginning. Uh, but I assume that you probably would have found that out anyway. So <laughs> apologies I didn't tell you earlier on. But what you need to do then, so as soon as you see this bit and then you click any key to continue, what you need to then press is you need to hold the D, E and B keys. So, press any key to begin. There we go. Press any key to begin. Come on. Come on, we haven't got a friggin' day. Come on, god damn it. Okay then, so now hold the D, E and B buttons uh, on your keyboard and as you'll see there, it'll say debug mode active. Now I'll show you exactly what that does. But like I said, I implore you, if you can, spare yourself two, two to three hours and try and get this done all at once. I fell foul to it where I logged off, went to go back on and my save got completely deleted, even on the PC, which, yes, pissed me off to no end um, so yeah that's why I highly advise if you do it on the PC try and just smash it all out at once uh, within a couple of hours otherwise you may have to start it all over again so now we're on to the main page when you're onto this page press the D E and B button again that will activate debug mode once again and then what we can do we're gonna we can then go back onto the um, HAP the HAP Eventually, <laughs> eventually we go into. And then, so once we get onto it, as you'll be able to see, those red marked ones that said, uh, we cannot find this page or whatever, now has the page description on them. So this just makes life a hell of a lot easier. And to actually access the page, hold the shift button and then click the, uh, click the left button on the mouse and that will take you to that page now what you need to do basically it won't archive straight away uh, so what you need to do when you click on it every time reload that save page and then at the bottom right hand corner it should then say archive in the page and when you go back onto it you, it'll either be blue or yellow it can be either blue or yellow that's fine um, that then means that the page is archived so again, like I said, so when you click on it the first time, reload the page, uh, either reload it in safe mode or reload it just at the top screen, and then it should count. Uh, but that is basically the only tips uh, I've got for you. So if you can, literally, I, I literally applore you to just get this out all 
at once, um, otherwise you risk losing your save like I did, being extremely pissed off about it, and <laughs> yeah, having to go through it a hell of a long time again. Um, so that's all you need to do. And basically then, yeah, that is that then, guys and gals. <laughs> That is what you have to do. Um, I've given all the tips I can, so yeah, like I said, if you're going to go through it in December 31st and you're on a page, make sure to go up to November 26th and November 5th as well. Uh, re I reloaded everything just to be on the safe side as well, just so that the archive would actually count. Um, but yeah, <laughs> that is all there is to it then, guys and gals. So I'm basically going to leave it here then. So hopefully this guide... Uh, you've enjoyed hopefully you've enjoyed the game hopefully you've enjoyed the guide and I do hope that it has helped big time it was a very fun game um, quite honestly unfortunately this thanked achievement has ruined it a little bit and whoops just dropped my phone as you do uh, yeah the thanked achievement kind of ruined the game completely for me to be honest especially when I lost my safe but there we go that's life isn't it and life sometimes when I just want to grab you by the balls and twist them but yeah, anyway, thanks so, so much for watching, guys and gals. Again, hope you enjoyed the game, hope you enjoyed the guide. And if it did, don't forget, of course, to like, comment, and subscribe. Share with a friend as well if it did help. Uh, don't forget to check me out on all my socials. I'm on Twitter. I do Twitter game code giveaway, so check me out on there. Instagram and Patreon as well, so would be extremely happy if you guys could check those out. Big shout out to everyone who supports me on Patreon, including... Tim G84 and Chance Bench. Again, I'm so sorry if I keep buttering that man. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you so much again, guys and gals. I will see you in the next one. Big love.